Hail Mary time for Jacksonville. Can we make a miracle happen? Why would you pass it? Kevin, we'll take a hand off, cut it in left side, and there it goes. Team's honestly kind of getting boring at this point. Um, kind of wish this guy would just leave. Yep. You gonna leave yet? DJ Catalan across the ten, and no one's gonna catch him. Oh my God, I scored! It's Marquise Lee breaking the tackle. Are you kidding? Marquise Lee. What is up, everybody? My name is Serum Sekoy. Um, before I upload this, I'm just gonna apologize for the lack of videos that I've been putting up. I'm hoping that I even put this up when I plan on it. But right now, it is the 8th of June. Um, tomorrow, I am leaving for an extended period of time. I'm going to Pittsburgh to watch Game 5 of the Stanley Cup Finals. And then for two weeks, I will be in annual training. Uh, it's like my obligatory thing I have to do for being in the National Guard. So that will be two weeks. I'm hoping to schedule this to be uploaded midway in between. These videos are really easy to edit. I've been trying to do some editing for Madden and NCAA, but I just... I don't know. I just... Uh, it's, it's, but whatever. Let's not focus on that. Let's focus on this right here and now because we are in the off season. Uh, what, season two? Season two of the Calgary Flames. Now, we had a pretty disappointing end to the season where we lost to the Anaheim Ducks. Um, how far did they make it? Who did end up making it to the Stanley Cup? But <coughs> <coughs> who did make it to the Stanley Cup, but then ended up losing to the Tampa Bay Lightning, who took a very interesting path all Game 7s. Anyways, that's not the point. So we have some we have some things that need to be done with this team. There's a lot of improvements that could be made. Um, I'm hoping to see improvements along the core of just our youth guys. You know, you look at our point leaders. Goudreau, he needs to get better. Monaghan, you know, he's got room for improvement. Um, Froelich... I, I don't like him on our first line. I'd rather see him as a second line guy, which I'm hoping potentially Shinkarook could be good enough to move to the first. But regardless, then we've got Sam Bennett, Joel Ward, who had himself a pretty decent season, 40-point season, Mikael Backlund on the third line, Giordano. But then our back defense, these are all guys that are known for scoring and they're not doing it. Um, so, I don't know. It's going to be interesting moving forward. Cody CC's kind of been a disappointment so far. Um, Braden McNabb did a pretty good job coming in, filling in. Andrew Ferentz had himself a pretty good year. Also, who he acquired at the trade deadline. So, guys like that, I'd like to keep around, assuming there isn't any better options. I'd like to keep the core of this team, but I also think we need another skill player, hopefully for the top six. And then that'll bump people down to solidify the bottom. So let's get started. Draft time. Um, you know, honestly, don't remember where our picks are. Uh, Patrick Sharp is retired. Datsuk is retired. And that's about it. So we're going to sim pick by pick for these first few just to see. High top six. Neil Patrick, I believe, is his name. Is Neil, Noah, something along those lines. The next pick, uh, Luzergren. He's a top four defender. Next pick, high starter Stuart Skinner, the goalie. These are still names that I'm somewhat aware of. I think that's Ian Scott. So two goalies taken at three and four. Columbus will take, I don't know who that is, but they get a medium elite left wing. So there's some scoring. Uh, foot, top four defender to Winnipeg. LA, they get an elite defender. All right. Arizona, division rivals. They get a top six left winger. Pop up that guy. San Jose gets another Strom. Okay, not sure who that is. And Philadelphia will take Valley Maka. So now we're going to go ahead and sim to our user pick. I don't remember. Okay, we do have a first round pick. A coin, LaPierre, Anderson, uh, whatever. Okay. So now it is time for us to make our pick. And I don't remember who will we've scouted. Really anything. Um, so let's, we're just going to look at the projected first. We still have a center, which we don't necessarily really need anymore. There's a lot of top nine centers still available. Um, bottom six, left wing, top nine. What are they having goaltenders? Oops. I'm curious to see what they have in terms of goalies. DiPietro. 
Oh. See, I'm not going to draft him purely because of that name. And it looks like, yeah, there's not much goaltender depth other than those first few picks. Um, again, we don't. I feel like we don't need a center, but there's good options. What about Solo? Any relation to Sammy Solo? Hmm, I don't really have anything scouted on him. We've got Michael Rasmussen. His faceoffs aren't that good. Don't really have much on him. Uh, Velarde, again, don't really have much on him. This guy's a high top nine. We have pretty decent stuff on him. His senses are high, so he has very good base, like hockey. I don't know, he's just a hockey player, I guess you could say. Um, High bottom six sniper. I feel like that's going to translate to a not high bottom six. Already 82 speed. You know what? I'm going to take a reach here, and we're going to go with Dawson Holt, the sniper, in the first round. Oh, please don't be a bust. Medium top six. All right. So I'd say that's a pretty decent pick. And now we're going to go ahead and keep simming to our next user. We're going to come back and see what else happened. I don't know where our next pick is. I feel like we don't have a second. It's It's been a while. Oh, my goodness. We're in the fourth round now. So a lot happened, apparently. We're in the fourth round. So that's, um, that's good. Uh, at this point, I think we're just going to... We're in the position of take the best player out there. High bottom six. Again, I told myself I don't need centers, but hey, we'll take him. Low bottom six, even better. All right. Uh, send to the next pick. Okay, we have a pick in the fifth round now. I'd like to take a goalie, if there are any goalies left. I'll even reach for one at this point. No, I need defense. Change my mind. Um, so let's go by projected. Defense. First guy I see, Hutanen. Um, defensive defensiveman. Why not? At this point, I'll take what I can get. He turns out to be a low seventh, so there's a chance that he could potentially be a roster guy. You know, I'll take it. A low seventh D is better than nothing. I have another pick in the fifth now. Alrighty. Um, I feel like we don't really need any more goalie prospects. I feel like I don't want to overload my goaltending pool. Um, what about this Rutu guy? I know nothing about him. He's 20 already, though. Um, yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling ballsy today. Let's go after this Rutu guy. Medium bottom six. Let's go. All right. Good, good pick. Let's keep it going. I feel like once I reach, probably, I eh, might as well just draft. There's only two picks left. At this point, might as well just do it. Um, see how I'm doing on time. We're not doing too bad. Come on. Um, okay. See, an HL extra forward, though? No. Um, let's go this guy. He's an exact? No. This guy. Why not? Low AHL top two. All right, now I'm just going to send the rest of the draft. We'll see who Mr. Irrelevant is. or Well, I don't really think he should be Mr. Irrelevant, but... I mean, hey. Patrick Hornquist was once a Mr. Irrelevant. I think we all know how well he's doing right now. You know, he's only in the Stanley Cup Finals. No biggie. All right, so we're going to send to the re-sign phase. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it. I'm going to let you know who, you know, I'm just going to do it really quick. I generally fly through this stuff anyways. we got 16 million cap space. That's not ideal, honestly. That's not a lot. Um, hmm. Kind of expected a little more. I'm not going to lie. So we're going to take it position by position, starting with goalies. Ordeo. <sighs> Boy, how much do you want, my friend? Yeah, I can do that, actually. For a solid backup, he's always been a good backup for us. I'm more than willing to give him that kind of money. Um, Ference, you're just getting up there in age. I don't know if I can bring you back. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and let you go, Ference. 
Um, at this point, I'm just more focused on who I'm letting go. Like this guy is gone. I'm trying to clear out my AHL. My AHL, I like to be actual prospects, not 25 year olds. Sorry, Morrison. I know in real life it doesn't make sense, but that's you know that's the way I manage my stuff. Mason Raymond, I think it is time for you to also go. And then Sam Bennett is really the only other big name that I need to re-sign. I'm going to get rid of Drew Shore. I'm going to re-sign Sam Bennett, and then I'm just going to simulate because I'm just going to be re-signing. Ooh, he does not want a lot of money. Even if he doesn't grow to be great, he's a solid second line center. So I'm going to give him 5 for 2.5. So there's that, and now I'm just going to sim people, and I will be back. All right, so we already have people who will be signing We got Ordeo, Bennett, that guy, that guy. At this point, we're just making sure that nobody declined. I did end up getting rid of um, that left winger whose name already slipped my mind. He wasn't that important. Um, Fair Furland, that's what it was. So I think that was everyone mostly. We we're just gonna go ahead and send to free agency, and we're gonna we're gonna get going with it. All right, so we're uh, we're gonna do our best to take a look at our team and our needs. And the best way to do that generally is morale, which is just fucking stupid, but. All right, so if you sort it by overall, we have essentially a full team. Spalling, I'm okay with him being our fourth line center. And then of course we have the legendary Bill Arnold himself. So center, I think we're good. Um, left wing, ooh, well, we also have Shinkarook and potentially Klimchuk coming up. But I still think we should at least get one left winger. I didn't even check our centers in the AHL. Do we have anyone? Uh, Braden Point might be ready. Oh, boy. Could have some center competition coming up here pretty soon. At right wing, we have Poirier in the AHL for some reason every year. Um, so, again, probably two more wingers at least. And then at defense, um, hmm, I don't know how I feel about Wotherspoon being our sixth man but Kylington looks like he might be ready so I'm not gonna touch that and then in terms of goalies Mason McDonald's on the climb he's a 75 overall and we have oh no oh no I don't know what it was with Enroth that he was so good that year but he's no longer uh oh oh man Oh my god. What the fuck? Okay, Enroth has to go immediately. Um we're gonna Wow, we're gonna look at free agency and then uh we're gonna try to get rid of him. We're just gonna pray to God that there's a free agent goalie chilling around here. Oh my god. Alright, so Headman, that's nice. Tyler Johnson is also very nice, but we don't need that. Guys like Vanek though, those I know, so one of these wingers would be nice. But right now, we need to look at goalies. Oh, dear Lord, let there be a starting goalie. Ben Bishop. <sighs> Not what I want, but it might be what I need to do. All right, so Ben Bishop is now what we're looking for. How much space do we have? 12. We're going to free up 5 when we get rid of um, Aaron Roth. And at this point, we're going to dump him for whatever the hell we can. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Goalies. Not rookie goalies. Goalies. Okay, Anaheim is actually interested in Enroth. I'd rather not trade him to uh, Anaheim, no? How about Buffalo? You guys interested? You guys want your guy back? They don't really want Enroth. How about Carolina? Do they want Enroth? No. Cool. No, because I'm trying to just dump him for picks at this point. Dallas, I'd like to trade him out of... Okay, they want him. All right. Well, first we're going to see what you got matching our block. They have nothing. Uh, they also have nothing. They don't really want to get rid of anything. Here's the thing. You're going to have to get rid of something. Shoot, I also need to take a goalie from them. Oh, my God. All right. What do you got goaltender-wise? You know what? I'll take this guy. Nope. Wow, all their goalies. Okay. New team. I'm trying to do this quick. I'm not trying to dick around here. Okay, they want him. All right. Give me this guy. And then... Give me your fourth. Actually, I wonder if I can squeak a third. 
I might be asking for too much. We're gonna go for it. I don't want to take on the salary, son of a bitch. Please, just take on his salary. I'll I'll just take a fourth. Okay, they don't they don't want to take on Enroth's salary. Um, you know that makes sense. I honestly wouldn't want to either. They can't afford to take on his salary. Florida likes him though. So we're going to try to take your fifth and your sixth. And I'm assuming I'm going to need to take a goalie back from you. Am I right? 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 I'm not taking him. You know, if I have to, I'll take this guy. Oh my God. Nobody wants to take on his contract. Why? Dude, I will, I will just, I will give you anything you would ever want in life. To take this dude's contract. How about that right there? Okay, at this point, I am literally hunting for anyone willing to take on his contract. Give me Kakinen. Actually, I don't really want Kakinen. Um. Kovalev? That doesn't even work out for me. Okay, so we're getting there. So, I mean, I might be able to get a good goalie in return, but. At this point, I'm not really worried about that. I'm more worried about just. Oh, uh, God, they only want roster players. How about a draft pick? Why not? I'm already so dipped into my pool of draft picks. New team. We'll find someone. Someone's going to want them. Someone has to want them. New Jersey, you're interested? What do you got in goalies? I will take Appleby. Um, you know what? I don't even... Ugh, I'd still like to get something in return. I keep saying this, but I'd feel really stupid when that trade goes through and I got nothing out of it. Okay, so now they're feeling this. Okay, so they like this. All right, how about a fourth? Actually, no, here's what I'll do. I will send you this fourth in return, take the third. Balls. Wait, what? I saw something about Jonas Enroth. Oh god, why does... I mean, it's understandable why no one would want that contract. I don't want it. That's why I'm trying to get rid of it. Okay, boys. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna have to see... Uh, I need to do some work. So I'll be back. Holy hell. Okay, well, this is not really the route I wanted to go with this one. But literally not a single team wanted Jonas Enroth. So what I needed to do... Was unfortunately trade Ordeo. So now... I traded him and Florida's fourth to take their second. So, oh, fucking hell. Enroth is our backup now, which means it is time to pursue the living shit out of my boy Ben Bishop. I don't want Ben Bishop, but looks like I'm going to get Ben Bishop because I don't really have a choice at this point. I need to start in goalie, plus Ben Bishop's pretty good. Um, I'm just going to have to offer him a lot of money. It's going to be a, looking like an $8.2 million contract. So there is that. And now, like I said, we need some depth forwards and potentially a depth defender. So let's just go wall skaters. Let's see what we got going on. Um, I, like I said, I'd like a top guy, but now as I look and see the way that things just went in terms of me having to offer eight million there, I don't really think we can necessarily afford to be going after a big name guy. Like Andrew Shaw, that's nice. Daniel Winnick, mm mm-mm. -mm. Uh, Foline, there's a lot of RFAs out there this year. Um, now a guy like Burroughs, not... Yeah. I hate Daniel Winnick. Like, with a passion. Dale Weiss, I swear to God, I saw you here last year. And you turned me down. Um... Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I don't have a lot of money... Um, but I will offer, I'm trying to see if there's a, you know what, nobody's offered, so I'm just going to lowball the shit out of the kid. Yeah, I'll give you seven years at like four million dollars, um, because, you know, why not? Nobody else has offered you any money, so I'll just I'll just go for it at this point. Um, God damn, Jonas Enroth literally just ruined us. 
Um, I need to keep advancing a few days. Pray to God we get Ben Bishop. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I was quite clear on what I want duration. Oh, he also doesn't want the salary. Okay, well, we got a goalie. Now we can go see what <sighs> address some more needs. Okay, there's still no teams interested in Tyler Johnson. And I have $5 million left in cap space. And I don't really want to spend all $5 million in cap space. So I need to play this smart. Um, a guy like Booth. You know, this would be a good, this would be a good signing. Okay, I like that. David Booth. Let's throw a contract year away. Um, you know, except I, oh, never mind. Okay, I'll do two years. Yeah, I can do two. Two years for Booth. And then let's get a, let's get a winger that's like good, but wouldn't be mad if he was scratched. So we need a, like a depth forward sort of guy. So Jordan 2-2. Two, two. Daniel Pae. Okay, depth forward. Here we go. Perfect. I'll throw you an offer. And, um, no way, Bo. Oh, you're at RFA. Poor Bo. How the mighty have truly fallen. And there's our boy Furland. He still wants way more money than I think he deserves. I don't know why he thinks he wants... Like, look at this. Everybody else is like, yeah, you know, less than a million. And this guy's like, give me it all. all right, I think that's it. I think we're done. Um, Jesus. Um, Yeah, I think we're good. Let's, uh, let's just sim the next season, I guess. Got Pi, got Booth, and now we're going to next season. Alright, so we are uh, up here at the preseason. I'm going to do it. go ahead and do our lines, our roster moves, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, boys, so we finally got our lines figured out. And here they are. We have Goudreau, Monaghan, and Shinkarook. So a lot of youngsters. Uh, Shinkarook is no longer elite. He's low top six. I don't like that. Poirier... Bennett and Frolik on the second. Not bad, not good. Joel Ward, Backlund, and I decided to bring up Morgan Klimchuk. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it quite yet on the third line. Um, I do have Paye scratched so I can move Yoris up and Klimchuk there. So I'm not sure how I want to do that. Let me know how, what you guys think about that. And then we have David Booth, Spalling, and Josh Yoris on the fourth. Defense, I saw something that concerns me. We have Brody Hamilton. Giordano is starting to decline. He went from an 89 to an 86. So, do we even call him our captain anymore? Cody Cece continues to not grow at all. Kylington and Braden McNabb. And then, of course, in that is Ben Bishop with fucking Jonas Enroth. Uh, so, we're just going to best lines our AHL for now. And now I think it is time. We do have Matt Missile down there. Missile looks like he's on his way. But now it's time to figure out our captaincy here. So, I think what we're going to do is this. We're going to assign... Giordano alternate and Johnny Gaudreau. Johnny Hockey is now the captain of the Calgary Flames. So, uh, whew, not necessarily the best offseason. Um, yeah, I don't know. That was that was a rough offseason. Not gonna lie. And it looks like our time window for Giordano to get a cup is closing even quicker than we thought. So we need to get something figured out, and we need to get it figured out now. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, thank you for watching. My name is Sir MC Koi. Subscribe, like, do all that cool shit, and I will see you next time.